Good morning students. So here we go again with another previous year question video. Make sure that you are up to date with complete playlist on previous year questions. You may find all these topics that we are discussing here in this playlist again and again. And in this video we will look into another previous year question and that is poetic compounding and what all are the techniques which comes under this topic. The question is in previous year UGC net and that was examples of poetic compounding are found in the work of which two modernist writers. So the right answer to this question is C. Hopkins and James Joyce. Alright, so we will discuss the same concept as well as we will also discuss how Hopkins and James Joyce use the techniques in their own works. But before beginning this video, if you are one of those students who are preparing for UGC net or GATE in English literature, then you can simply check out our smart study material where we provide you with the audio lectures, personal guidance and everything that is required for you to crack the competitive exam in English literature. Visit limitlessliterature.com to know more about it. And now without any further ado, let's begin with this video. So poetic compounding is nothing but the group of techniques through which the poets and writers create new words. Poets innovate new word, it's a very creative process and it not only enrich a language but also makes sure that language is beautiful. So in short, poetic compounding is a process of combining two or more words to create a new word or to intensify the emotional effect in a poem or a work or a writer uses it in the novel. For example, portmanteau morphine from breakfast plus lunch we made brunch from Bombay plus Hollywood we made Bollywood. This technique is also known as blending or portmanteau morphine. Alright, so here we have various techniques in poetic compounding. Here goes the list hyphenation, blending, coinage, back formation, compounds with omitted parts, phrasal compounds, synthetic compounds, inflections, neologism, abbreviations and acronyms. Okay, so we are going to discuss all of them briefly. It is suggested that you make the notes on it because many times these uh, one or two questions have been there in the previous year questions. So remember all the types. Simply one one example for all these poetic compounds are enough for you to prepare for the upcoming examination. Do not go in detail otherwise you will get confused. Also going in detail for this particular topic is not suggested for you this in an examination. Simply overview of this technique and as well as the examples of this technique. That will do the work. Alright so let's begin with the first one. Hyphenation. It's clear with the title alone hyphenation that means new words creating using hyphen. For example, high pitch sound that means high frequency or you can say well being to describe good mental health. Self hyphen esteem for your personal self respect and that is all. Alright, so you see hyphenation when you are using hyphen to create new words by combining two words and using hyphen in between. That's what hyphenation all about. The next one is blending so that I have already discussed blending technique is also known as portmanteau morphemes for example smoke plus fog smog breakfast plus lunch brunch Bombay plus Hollywood became Bollywood. The next one is coinage so these words as well as the examples of these words will do the work one or two example will be sufficient for you to understand and the questions are really simple you will surely get uh, two three marks three of marks if these questions come in the examination. So coinage is not about combining the words but it is combining the sounds okay coinage simply means to coin that means a whole new level of invention uh, we say that this author coined this thing the author coined that thing a whole new invention okay for example Hopkins coined the word dappled to describe the play of light and shadow on leaves all right so that is coinage when you are combining the sounds to create new words okay generally a writer or poet do it for fun and uh, just out of curiosity just out of interest or making uh, just playing with the language playing with the words that's why he coins such words neologism is also similar to coinage in coinage we create new words just like that out of fun because uh, we like the sound of a particular word so just like that uh, we are creating words like Hopkins created the word dappled as it sounds good for him so he invented like that but in neologism we coined the word because it is necessary for us to create the word in neologism we create words not because of fun but it is really required for us to do for example selfie, sexting, meme, vlog, blog, FOMO, photobomb etc. So you see in neologism it is necessary for us to create the words because of the rise of social media platforms. These words didn't exist in the dictionary before but as the technology came it became necessary for us to create. It does not happen in coinage. We are just creating the words out of fun in coinage technique. 
but here in this technique it is necessary for us to do so. So here we go with the next one back formation this has already been asked in the previous year exam many times they have asked it okay and that is you have to form a new word from the back like you add something at the back of the word and it will become a new word for example edit it became editor televise it became television invent became invention donate become donation baby became babysitter so you see the example babysitter this is an example of back formation because you are putting baby and then you are putting sitter okay that is also a technique of hyphenation so you can say that one word can be an example of different different techniques just like baby sitter it's an example of both hyphenation because you are using hyphen as well as you are putting um, back formation that is the example of back formation all right so uh, that's why i've told you that you should remember only the definition as well as one or two examples if you go in detail uh, you might get confused whatever i'm teaching in these videos that is sufficient for the net examination do make the notes of it the next one is compound with omitted parts here in this technique we omit the word and then we go with a new word for example the nightingale now you can create a new word from it nightingale night bird so what you did here is that night ingale you replace the ingale with the word bird so it became night bird nightingale night bird all right so another example can be bypass road so the actual word is uh, bypass road bypass road we used to use the complete bypass road but then we omitted the word road we are using bypass the next one is football association we do not use football association completely in reality it was football association but now we have created a new word by omitting association and it became football the same goes for supermarket store so it was earlier when invented it was supermarket store but as the time passed as the centuries passed we omitted the store and now it only remain supermarket we don't say supermarket store we say supermarket both are same supermarket store is also right supermarket is also right so we are using we are creating new words by omitting the back of it by omitting some words or replacing it with some words for example baseball game basketball game we are not using the word game now we only say let's play baseball let's play basketball but the word that came in the being was baseball game but we omitted the word game so that's how we created a new word baseball out of baseball game so that is what compounds with omitted words the next one is phrasal compounds and synthetic compounds the simple difference in both of is that phrasal compounds uh, the meaning of words remain same after combining the two words but in synthetic compounds the meaning of a word becomes something different something new something indirect okay synthetic something indirect so example of phrasal compound is sound proof okay sound plus proof became sound proof but let's take an example of synthetic compound heart ache okay heart ache heart ache is a word that you use to tell the sadness this that my heart aches that his heart aches after having the breakup okay so this his heart acts after breakup so you are using two words heart plus ag and now you are giving a new word heart ag that has some indirect meaning heart ag does not mean that he has a chest in his pain but it is showing that he is uh, suffering from sadness so synthetic compound is showing something indifferent in an indirect manner but it does not happen in phrasal compounds sound plus proof sound proof that's the meaning that's the essence of the sound proof but it does not happen synthetic compounds so i hope this much is clear for you let's jump on to another one that is inflection and this technique changes the grammatical part of a word okay grammatical part for example walk walk became walked when you put ed behind walk it became walked so it will become uh, like walk is a present tense but walked becomes past tense so that is what boy boy is singular boys you put s that s is inflection it became plural so you are changing the grammatical category of that particular word that is the previous year question so if you know this what is inflections that is very easy dog dogs cat cats walking walk walking swim swimming so we are just putting ing behind swim swim becomes swimming so that is changing the tense from 
present tense to present continuous tense that is what inflection which changes the grammatical structure of a word that is inflections that is ing s ed these all are inflections we all know what are abbreviations you simply use uh, words in a short form so it's a unique way to create new words for example from the word telephone we got a new abbreviated word phone or you can say dr for doctor ave avenue etc for etc and the last one is mr for mr so that's how we are creating new words using abbreviations okay and now let's move on to the another one that is acronyms so we all know what are acronyms uh, it is just like you are using a short phrase for a big name for example nasa national aeronautics and space administration fbi federal bureau of investigation aids acquired immunodeficiency syndrome most often we use the first words from each of the words like fbi f for federal b for bureau i for investigation in acronyms uh, we are generally using the first word initial of every word and creating new words out of it radar solar fbi nasa isro those those all are acronyms and that is a unique way of creating new words these all words these uh, new techniques are acceptable instead of writing acquired immuno deficiency syndrome you can simply write aids that's acceptable instead of writing doctor you simply write dr dot sanjeev that is doctor that's acceptable in the language so that's how we create new words in a particular language and that's how you can also learn about new words that is a part of language and linguistics all right so i hope you have understood everything make sure that you are writing notes and do not forget to like the video and subscribe the channel for more such updates i will see you soon in the next video that's it for this thank you